Do you think it's okay to date a man for money? Yes. Okay, but like he'll buy you stuff and all you have to do is fuck him. So you think good puss is enough to keep a man happy? A thousand, no, there's more. There's more. But like my job isn't to keep a man happy, it's his job to keep me happy. That's why I need a sugar daddy and I have one. Women like this will really say these things and then be shocked that the red pill exists. This is the most materialistic, transactional attitude you could have towards relationships. Like the social fabric of this country is decaying. And while there certainly are a lot of skits out there online which are supposed to appear real, even though they're obviously fake, there's no indication that much of this dude's content, the guy who's uh, doing the interview here, the desirable truth, there's no indication that this is fake. Most of the stuff this guy posts appears to be real, unscripted, and what this woman has just said is way closer to the attitude of your average woman than a lot of people would care to admit, than women themselves would care to admit. This lady is just being very candid about how she feels about men. And this worldview, this new feminist dating worldview, is a total departure, a total inversion of traditional gender norms. Because a woman is supposed to be an assistant in a man's life purpose. A man finds his life purpose, he's working towards this goal, he's building himself up, and a woman is like a luxury he can finally afford and provide for, but then also assists and supports him. A man's purpose on this earth is not to please or appease women. That would make him a walking wallet or a simp. Why is it all about you, 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 you though? Because I'm a woman. Men already like have so many rights. Now it's like, it's a girl's time to fucking shine. You don't think 2024 is the best time to be a woman? Uh, no, we just got our abortion rights removed. This woman can cry me a river. Also, notice how she justifies this. Women are victims, therefore they are entitled to exploit and mistreat men. This is what feminism has done. With its victim narrative, it has induced this victim complex in women, which gives your average young woman like this the feeling that she's entitled to your wallet, your money, your hard work just for existing. Now it's the best time to be a fucking woman and stand the fuck up because men are fucking dicks. You don't think you need a man to survive in life or anything? No, I have a 180K salary as a 22 year old and I have a bonus next week. I do not need a fucking man to be happy. Yeah, but money is temporary. It comes and goes. What happens when you lose your job? I can have five fucking boyfriends a week. I do not need one man to keep me happy. Okay, first of all, what salary job could she possibly have at 22 that's already paying her $180,000 a year? Like, you've either got to be a Nepo baby or some sort of insane savant entrepreneur to secure a job like that. Like, she's probably lying, or she just has no idea how much she actually gets paid yearly. Secondly, leftists really get pissed that men have an issue with how women behave when the left has taught women to view men as entirely disposable. What self-respecting man would ever enter into a relationship with a woman who's like, Oh, I could have five boyfriends. I don't need you. Complete disrespect. Can you show the people what you just did a while ago? Does that booty mean? Hey, 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 look at them booty cheeks. <laughs> so be honest with me, right? What do you think a man thinks? When he's gonna watch this video and see you shaking out. What the fuck? What the fuck? He got a thing? Cause if anything, bitch, what's up? You gonna fight him? Hell yeah. Why don't you care about what a man has to think? Cause niggas ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Whoa. whoa, whoa. You white or black? I mix. You're biracial? Hell yeah. What you talking about? What do you mean what I'm talking about? I just asked you. So what? You look white. What? I know I do. Well, you're half white. That's what I am. So people don't ask you, like, why you and say nigga? Everybody asks. And what you and tell everybody them? Everybody asks, and I say, I don't give a fuck. Is it your dad or your or your mom? My, my dad. And but I ain't got one. Ah! Was anyone surprised by the fact she didn't have a dad? Do you think sex is enough to keep a relationship together? 
Oh my god, sex is so important in a relationship. <laughs> yes, yes. Like if normally when I get to know someone and I really like them, I'm not gonna have sex with them. But if they're like if they're bad or something, I will con take it into consideration. So, but is it enough to keep her to stop a relationship from failing? I mean, I think you can always teach a guy how to be better. <laughs> But if that doesn't work and sex is really important to you, then no, it's not going to work out. Modern women pursue their own pleasure above everything else. Um, but I do feel, I don't know if I would say entitled, but I do value my pleasure so much and I need some quality sex and intimacy. So that is way higher on my priorities than being protected and provided for. So would you say you have good puss? I have what? Would you say you have good puss? I can't answer that. That is confidential. Confidential information? Confidential information. Is it good enough to keep a man with nothing else? No, because guys will fuck anyone. So it doesn't matter if you have good pussy or not. So how, So what else would you need to do to keep a man in a relationship? You know, I've been with a lot of men. No, dated men. And I still haven't figured it out. I don't know what keeps a man. You can be the hottest person ever, you can be the smartest girl ever, you can have the most money, and it never keeps a man. This is also a pretty tragic situation because younger people have no guidance from older generations on what actually makes relationships work and last long term. How old are you? I'm 27. Are you single? Yes. Why do you think that is? I'm just too busy for a relationship right now. I don't have time for it. You're too busy for a relationship or a man hasn't wanted to commit to you? I'm too busy. So you've had men who are looking to take you seriously right now? I've had some try, but I don't feed into it because I know I don't have time for it. What makes you so occupied? School and work. But you don't think with the right guy you'd be able to make it work? Not right now. Because I'm not at my best, so like once I'm at my best and I feel like I'm more successful, then I'll be able to give you know that to a guy. I don't know where a lot of these modern women got it in their heads that having a degree will make them so much more attractive. It really doesn't because, again, they don't want to be paying for most things anyways. So of the guys who have tried in the past, what was it about them that made you go, I don't have the time for this? Well, that's like a lot. I mean, they like lie and like cheat, you know, guy stuff. Cheat, cheat. Girls do it too, but the guys did it to me. Cheating in what sense? Like emotional, like anything, any attention you're giving to another girl, that's cheating. Modern women will say this, but then have guy friends on the side. But do you think it's fair to expect a man not to be attracted to other women or no, speak to I other women? I say that. You can be attracted because we all have eyes, but you don't have to give the attention, you know? Like, you don't have to go like a girl's picture or text another girl, you know, whatever, things like that, that guys do. How do you know when your relationship's dying? When my coochie don't get wet for you no more, my the relationship is dead. If my coochie don't get wet for you, we're done! What a truly delicate and ladylike response. Yeah. So what causes it to dry up? If you don't do your job, if you don't satisfy me, if you're not paying no bills, if you're just laying around like a roach, baby, I don't need that. I could pay my own shit. But what makes it wet? What makes my coochie wet? A man who provides, a man with a long deck. He better be slanging. Now, what did I say earlier? Um, but I do feel, I don't know if I would say entitled, but I do value my pleasure so much and I need some quality sex and intimacy. So that is way higher on my priorities than being protected and provided for. And a man who know how to eat some coochie. So you value a man who knows good conilingus. I suppose. So what do you bring to him? Um, I make my own money, I got my own crib, my own car, I pay for my own groceries. That's about you. 
What about him? Notice how modern women have been totally reprogrammed to think masculine traits are appealing to men. Her having her own money, her own crib, her own car, and paying for her own groceries does not actually make her any sexier. You know, two men have never had the conversation about a woman. Oh, bro, do you know what her career is? She's a lawyer, or she's an accountant, or something like that. And the other guy's gone, oh, wow, that makes her so much hotter. Never happened, ever, ever in history. You single? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So why don't you have a man? Because niggas want temporary shit and just wanna fuck, so I'm not on that. I'm too busy making money. You're looking for a serious relationship now. Yeah. Lifelong. Yep. So if you were to get a man, what would you give him? You said what? If you were to get a man, what would you offer him? I could go bring whatever he brings to the table. What would you want him to bring? Um, energy, effort, time. That's all I ask. I don't ask for money. I make my own money. So you, you're, so you're fine making more than your man. Yeah. So if that's the case, I've, I've dated niggas who like just got out of jail. So I let them live with me. I let them. I fed them, clothed them. Like money don't matter to me. So why are you being the man in the relationship? Cause I ain't never had no nigga step up. So that's why I'm single right now, because I want a man. Like, I'm ready to be my soft girl era. But why go for the bad boy archetype? You said what? But why go for the bad boy archetype? You like what you like. Wow. Did anyone else lose brain cells listening to that? You single? Yes. What do you look for in a man? Personality. Personality. Yes. What do you think a man looks for in you out here? I can't hear you. What do you think a man looks for in you out here? Pussy the fuck? Niggas is, niggas is worried about pussy. That's what they worry about. So you're not worried about dick? No. I got a man at home. Hey, hey. You got I'm a man at home, but you're out here like this? Because I'm not out there like them bitches. But you out here shaking ass on six? Not for them. Then for who? For me and my friends. They like my ass. This woman is engaging in incredibly attention-seeking and highly public behavior, but supposedly it's only for her friends. Like, come on, we're not five years old here. We know that women dress and behave in very provocative ways to get male attention. They're lying to themselves and to you when they say they don't. Or that this is not what they're doing when it very obviously is. Well, look at all the men around here. You don't they got, think they ain't got shit to do with me? You don't think that's a, a mating call? <laughs> Bitch, I ain't no animal. Then what are you? A woman. I'm a woman. I'm not out here to impress no nigga out here. My man is that waiting home and for me. And I'm for him. So he doesn't care that you're shaking ass out here in the middle of the street. He doesn't because I'm not going home with them. I'm going home with him. He picking me up. So what's it like being in an open relationship with your man? Um, we see who we want to see, but uh, at the end of the day, we come home to each other. So if I wanted to say, hey, let's go get a hotel room and have some fun together, he couldn't do anything about it. No. This was by far the biggest train wreck interview of the night. Hispanic woman in an open relationship with a boyfriend who she doesn't even tell, who she's going to go and bone. I, I'm not even going to spoil it. It gets worse than that. Just stay tuned. How does one have that mentality to be able to do that but still go home to him? It, it, takes, it ta takes a strong person. Um, there's boundaries set. Um... We know we come home to each other at the end of the night, but during the day, we're with other people. Do you like tell your man when you're gonna be with another guy or what? So I haven't done it recently, but. So it's cheating? Um, I have not in the last, what, three or four months been with somebody, but at the same time, I'm the breadwinner. I take care of my house. So he follows you. Correct. So you don't tell him when you're going to get some D somewhere else. 
But do you think he really cares about you? Um, yes, I know he does. Um, but it... Or is he just... Notice how there was already a but there at the end of her sentence? I wish the interviewer hadn't interrupted. He cares about me, but... <laughs> What was it? What exactly was she gonna say after that? Using you as his sugar mama, who he gets to bang from time to time. So I take care of him and his kids. So honestly, I feel like he is, but at the same time, I can't. Yeah, prove but I'm gonna say it like this: If you're committed to that man and you're willing to be with that man and everything about that man is spiritual to you, baby, you're gonna do what you want to do, exactly. and you're gonna do what you, you have to do. Terrible advice from the heavy set girlfriend. So what's your body count? <laughs> Um, over a hundred. So you couldn't see yourself getting married then? Uh, I've been married five times. I don't even really know how to react to that. Over a hundred body count. Already been married five times. I, uh, I don't know what to say. I am at a loss for words here. I'm currently married. So you're a man or? No, my husband's in prison. And that was the cherry on top of the crap Sunday. If you like me, would you split the bill with me on the first date too? Okay, so this is how I think. On the first date, I would want a man to pay to show that he's willing to put down like a down payment on what could be a relationship. So the man has to invest that money up front, out the gate. Yes, he has to invest. That's how I know he's serious. And how would you show me that you're serious? As a woman. Me giving my time to you is like showing like the first step of commitment. This is the woman from the beginning. So the fact that she is even willing to spend a second of her time with you is supposed to show that she's already committed. Does anyone actually believe that? This will, this is just a this is just terrible all around. This is just awful. But I have to give my time too. Yeah, but like, I don't go on a lot of first dates. I'm not that kind of girl. But like, if I do give you the time, like, I expect it to be like, worth it and good. And it shouldn't be a burden for me, because at the end of the day, women deserve a lot more than men do. What makes you feel like that? Because in society, like, men are already like, on the up. Like, how much they're paid, the pay gap. Hold on, slow down there. We're here in a pay gap talk from a woman who claims she's paid $180,000 a year. And for perspective, the income of your average American is something like $55,000 a year. Not to mention young women in certain urban areas actually tend to out-earn men their own age, which is yet another giant gaping hole in the whole stupid pay gap narrative. Y'all, whatever sense y'all are making more than us, that deserves to go to dinner that first day. You don't think that that's a myth, though? It's just based on individual skills? Or, um, nepotism? Okay, the man that I am with should be making more money than I do. Here is the complete idiocy of modern women on full display. They're angry that they're not earning as much as men, but then also want a man that earns more than they do. A high-earning man is going to get a lot harder to come by if you're passing all sorts of laws and initiatives to attempt to rectify the wage gap. Yeah, but let's talk about the gap, though. You said men earn more, right? Yeah, they do earn more. You don't think that's just skill-based? It's not skill-based. It's a fact. You and me could both be making TikToks, but like, if we were working for like a corporate company for marketing, you would probably be getting paid more than I would. You know, it's illegal to pay a man more just for the fact that he's a man. Then why is it happening? Look at the stats. It's not illegal. How much money does a man have to make to date you? You ain't gotta be rich. He's gotta have a good personality. Honestly. You care about the job that he has? No. So, I could be a drug dealer and you'd still date me if I had a good personality. Yeah. Why isn't that a red flag though? As long as you're good to me. You don't care about the risks that come in that kind of lifestyle? No, because when you get somebody, you're going to take them risk with them. You know what I'm saying? No, what if I was a policeman? Would you date me then? Why not? If I liked you. So you don't care whatsoever? I don't care. It could be OnlyFans. It could be, it could be girl, boy, mixed, 
Jen, I don't give a fuck what the fuck you is. If I like you, I like you. And do you think that most men operate the same way? They don't care about what kind of job the girl has? Oh, yeah. I think if I was a stripper and I had a boyfriend, he would be like, no. But then I wouldn't be with him. But why are, but why are men like that? Because they're insecure. That's it. And there you have it. If you have any kind of problem with the way a woman behaves or what her occupation is, then somehow it's your fault and you're just insecure. That's modern women for you. Anyways, that's been it for this video. Please share it if you liked it. If you didn't like it, please leave a comment about why you hate this channel. And Red Channels will catch you in the next one.